Pop Up Flamby's Advent Calendar. O I A A A A A H A H I H I H Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to Pop Up Flamby's Advent Calendar. And as always, you can use the code 42069 to get 10 to 15 percent, depending on the day, over on my personal Teespring shop. All the merchandise completely reduced. Also, we got 10 percent of the whole I double dot cursed math memes collection over on STEM merch today. So check it out. Links will be down there in the description. Today, we are going to take a look at a problem I found over on Preend. Some Discord boys um, suggested this um, <laughs> this uh, problem to me, and I thought it was. Really nice. It was nice and spicy. It was easy to solve. It was just perfect for the advent calendar here. So let me explain time a little bit. We have some x plus 1 over x being defined as being equal to 1, where x is the element of the complex numbers, but not identically equal to just 0. Okay, because otherwise you would divide by 0. That ain't good. And now we want to find out what the absolute value of this summation from k being bounded between 0 and 100 of just x to the 2 to the k power plus 1 over x to the 2 to the k power actually is. This is what we are going to find out today. And like mentioned before, I found this over on the Brilliant community. And Brilliant, video sponsored by Brilliant, by the way, is um, providing their users not only with their course concept, but also with this huge community where each and every person can post their own problems in there. And you find so many problems over there on Brilliant. It's absolutely amazing. I love the community over there and so many analytic number theory problems flying around there. So definitely check it out. It's completely worth it. You can just do a Google search and find out about a lot of problems. It's just absolutely amazing. I love it. And now we are going to dive right in. So when I first approached this problem, I wrote this whole thing summation out because um, yeah, I thought uh, it would do something good. But it didn't do any good because you really don't come to a reconclusion when writing everything out at first. Rather, you might want to make use of a certain trick, namely the binomial theorem. It's really easy actually. Let us square this equality on both sides. So if we were to square one, we are going to just receive one. Okay, that means one is hence equal to. Okay, let us write it out. X plus one over X, but the whole thing squared. Okay, if we were to square this, we are going to square those two parts. So we are going to get X squared and also we are going to get one over X squared. But what do we have to do to the um, add to the middle. I mean, we are going to add two times those two quantities multiplied together. Okay, this is just how the binomial theorem works. So we are going to get two times x times one over x. And this is going to work wonders because x and one over x is going to cancel out to just being a one, meaning we are going to be left with x squared plus two plus one over x squared. This is good, actually, because you know, this is just x to the 2 to the first power and this is 1 over x to the 2 to the first power. Here, on the zero of iteration, we had x to the 2 to the zero of power plus 1 over x to the 2 to the zero of power. Meaning, we already got the first two members of our summation right here, which is really good. I mean, now we can subtract 2 on both sides, leaving us overall with negative num uh, 1 being hence nothing but x squared plus 1 over x squared. Okay, good stuff. Now, what were to happen if we were to square both sides of this equality yet again? Let us try this out. I mean, if we were to square this, we are going to receive 1 yet again. Okay, because negative 1 squared is nothing but 1. Now, squaring this whole thing is going to result in, okay, x squared plus 1 over x squared, but the whole thing squared. This is going to give us overall, that's equal to 1, being equal to, um, okay, we are going to get x squared, but the whole thing squared, okay, x squared squared, x to the fourth power, plus, okay, once again, this times this is going to result in one, but we are going to get a factor of two, which is cool, plus one over x squared squared. I hope you can see where all of this comes from, actually. Okay, this is good. I mean, now we can subtract two, once again, on both sides, leaving us with um, negative one, being hence nothing but, okay, and let's call those two by its name, x to the fourth power, plus one over x to the fourth power, meaning, Every time we are going to square a quantity like this or this, by the binomial theorem, we are going to get negative one out. Meaning, on the zero of member, this is the only exception, we got one out. On the first member, we are going to get negative one. On the second member, we are going to get negative one. On the third member, negative one, and so on, up until 100. You can probably easily, really easily prove this by uh, mathematical induction. But overall, what we are going to get is, that the absolute value 
of our summation is going to result in, okay, what are we going to have? We are going to have the absolute value of one. This is the zero of iteration. Minus one, first iteration. Minus one, second iteration. Minus dot 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 up until negative one. So how often do we have negative ones here? I mean, we start at zero. And the first negative one is going to happen at the first iteration, not the zero of one. So counting from one to 100 is going to give us 100 times negative one. So this right here is going to be in there 100 times. Meaning overall, this is going to result in the absolute value of one minus 100. One minus 100 is going to give us um, negative 99. And by definition of the absolute value, this is going to spit out 99. And this already concludes the problem, which is really nice if you ask me. I mean, this has a really nice twist to it and I just like it. It's, it's easy, but it's really nice, um, I don't know, beginner friendly calculus exercise if you ask me. And if you want to see more problems like this, I encourage you to try out Brilliant today, the sponsors of this video, link in the description. With their nearly 70 interactive courses in math, science, computer science, physics, Brilliant has really become an educational powerhouse and a household name in the educational community. And trust me, their interactive courses are absolutely fabulous. So recently I created a live stream where I was being sent that was the pre-Christmas live stream. And well, I was doing their Geometry Fundamentals course, which they brushed up on a tiny little bit. And I gotta admit, they did such a fantastic job. It just looks absolutely fabulous. You can drag stuff around. It's really highly interactive. The, the graphics look super good. I can't even tell you how much I love Brain. It's seriously, it's one of those websites where I spend a lot of time on for myself personally. And I'm and we're not being paid to say this here, but I really love Brain. It's just something that that really needs more attention if you ask me. And I'm even presenting their educational content during my teaching at, at school, at my private school, which really says something about the quality of their content. Because um, even though it's an English website, I still like to present their stuff to my students, which is really fantastic if you ask me. And it really gives a lot of value to the students to just being able to track stuff around. For, for example, in the Geometry Fundamentals course, you can take the edge of a triangle and just pull it from one side to another, and then you can vary the angle, and it's just absolutely amazing. And students get so much out of it, trust me. Um, they, you can't really imagine how much that helps the students out in this day and age. And, and it's just, you are doing a service to society, Brynn, and I want to thank you for that, seriously. You are doing a great job and you should keep it up, definitely. So if this feels like a something for you, make sure to check out the link I mentioned before at the top of the description. With it, you are going to get free access to a big portion of print already. And the first 200 people to actually make use of the link get 20% of an annual premium subscription. So if you are still looking for a very great Christmas present for loved ones, for your STEM interested son, daughter or cousin, I don't know, then make sure to give them a brilliant subscription because it's really worth it. So much content over there, you see many problems in their community and it's just an absolute bliss to work through the courses of a own brain. So definitely make sure to check it out and support the channel this way. And enjoy this day of the advent calendar, then make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content. Also don't forget to check out STEM merch. At some point we are also going to have nice reduction on those fractal posters for example, which are really good. I love those. They look so fantastic in the background. Now until the next video, I wish you guys a flamble day and next video is going to come out in approximately 24 hours from now on. Ciao!